Donald Trump has a lot on his mind these days. After all, North Korea has started up its nuclear production again. Russia has been encroaching on democracies all over the world, including on all of our individual computers. Global warming is at the crisis stage, and the U.S.'s infrastructures are crumbling before our very eyes. Unfortunately, our commander-in-chief is not interested in those. Instead, he lets us into his frayed mind with his early morning cartoonish tweets. POTUS tried to get someone to say the Democrats' 81 subpoenas were due to losing in the presidential elections. Yet, the only person he could find to quote was his daughter-in-law. Democrats are frantic to throw something else at the president. That's why you saw those 81 subpoenas. It's ridiculous. Just because you're still upset over an election that happened two and a half years ago, you should not be allowed to ruin people's lives like this. Lara Trump. The big vote to take down the president's national emergency happens today. He had to lie to get people's attention. Trump said the wall was already under major construction. A big national emergency vote today by the United States Senate on border security and the wall, which is already under major construction. I am prepared to veto, if necessary. The southern border is a national security and humanitarian nightmare, but it can be easily fixed. The UK has been having trouble with Brexit, withdrawing from the EU. It appears the Russian President Vladimir Putin set our best ally up, just like he set up the EU. Yes. Still Trump loved it. My administration looks forward to negotiating a large scale trade deal with the United Kingdom. The potential is unlimited. Trump has still been burning over the late night hosts. He seems to think they were too mean to his Fox News friend, Tucker Carson. The three very weak and untalented late night hosts are fighting over table scraps. Carson did a great job, it wasn't political. I don't know what they're going to do in 2024 when he's no longer president. We'll be wacky in the unemployment line. Michael Loftus's. POTUS has bankrupted the soybean farmers with his ridiculous and ineffective tariffs. Yet, he had the nerve to wish the country Happy National Ag Day. Happy National Ag Day.